Millions of people around the world have recently started working from home because of the COVID-19 outbreak. Remote work has been on the rise as some digital entrepreneurs are taking advantage of different technological platforms to make more money. And now one of the digital entrepreneurs, Sam Olatunde, joins us. He is the founder of Digital CEO Tribe. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. Let's share your experience and how productive it has been working from home during this lockdown. Okay, for me, it's been a little bit challenging uh, in terms of the internet connection. It's not been stable uh, for overall because I've, I've been involved in the digital industry for over 11 years now. Um, I've mastered the game already and uh, I've already prepared myself about the future of how business is going to be done. So now I'm getting more demand because most organizations want to get what they're doing online. Uh, most professionals mm -hmm. want to see how they can um, activate their brand. They want to take advantage of leads generation and all of that. So for me, it's been demanding maybe because of the kind of industry I'm from, um, because I've played in this industry for over a decade. So it's just back-to-back -back meetings, having Zoom meetings, helping clients, individuals to understand what they need to do at this time. Churches um, has been facing a loss, and then because of the fact that we have digital CEO tribe to empower over one million people, and making them to acquire different skills. It's just been, it's been a back-to-back -back for me with my team of helping people to see how they can activate the digital world into what they're doing. What are the various platforms available to make money, uh, money rather, while working from home? Okay, interestingly, if you go to Google and you type um, 10 platforms you can work from home in Nigeria, you're going to see at least 10 different platforms, I don't want to mention names now, in which they can activate you immediately and you start earning. One of the things people need to understand now is that they need to know how to monetize their knowledge. There's been a lot of knowledge gap in our country. Uh, people don't really understand how to go about certain things. So if you position yourself as a knowledge expert in the industry, um, you're going to make a lot of money. For instance, um, people want to have lots of design. So if you're a graphic designer, it means that you are classified to be um, under what we call freelancers. That means you're rendering your service, you get paid once, and you do that design. I mean, so it means that you can make money in three different ways. Making money once, making money continually, and then having a residual income. So what do I mean? If you're a graphic designer, you make money once because you design for that organization or that brand, and then they pay you instantly. But if you've written a book, it means that you can make what we we'll call uh, a dividend from what you have done once. I've written a book once, and I spread it across different platforms. I'm having Amazon selling, I'm having Conga selling, I'm having Jumia selling. So indirectly, what I'm making money from is my intellectual property. So for those who are researchers, for those who are uh, core professionals, who have written quite a number of books, and then who have been publishing offline, it's time for them to take their books online and begin to earn royalty from what they have done. So it means that you, you can do it in two ways. You can be uh, an author and make money in a residual income uh, based on royalty from what you have done once. And alternatively, for those who know how to write, this is the time for them to turn their ink to income. What do I mean? A lot of people want to change their profile. A lot of people want to understand how they can write uh, and put those write-ups on their blog. Some people want to even write their book. So if you're a writer, this is the time for you to write a lot of um, stuff for people. In terms of you can become a colonist, you can decide to write books for people, you can write their profile, you can rework on writing the press release about what you've done. So writers now are made. Okay, um, let's just move on quickly to one more question before the network acts up. Uh, can you talk okay. about some of the software and technology that can facilitate uh, working from home? Okay, so first, I, I, Zoom, Zoom is very good for most people to use. Um, you can have 100 users for the free one, and then if you, have, if you, if you activate it, you can have at least 400 people. Um, another software people can use for meetings is WebEx. WebEx um, gives you access to have over 1,000 to 5,000 people. So for those who want to have an event, for instance, maybe churches that cannot gather crowds, they can make use of what we call WebEx, where they can connect people together, and then people can watch from wherever they are, and then they can use the same software to be streamlined 
on Facebook and on, on YouTube. For those who work, eWorker is another platform they can think about where they can share all their uh, presentations, activities, and then their team can work together. Um, I can also hide what we call Google Classroom. Google Classroom has made it easier that people can get into a class. So for those who run trainings, one of the um, ways they can continue what they are doing online is to activate what we call Google Classroom, whereby they can see themselves, they can share materials and all of that. Now, it's important for people to, uh, to, to activate their websites, and then the website becomes like their online office. Because mostly, uh, most of the time, people want to go to your office and see what is happening there. But if you activate your online office, it means that you can activate your chat box and people can chat up with you. You can activate your, um, your lines, people can call you, you can activate your WhatsApp, people can chat directly. So what people just need now is the customer experience with the organization. All One right, of the things I, I, that the organization needs to interject. To There's so much to talk about. We'll hopefully get you back on the news uh, in uh, no distant time. Thank you very much for sharing your thoughts. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you.